Kelly Toy is a company that is very popular for making a carnival and arcade prizes. And over the years, they have become extremely popular for their Mario plush set that they made back in the early 2000s. And today we're going to be discussing why these plushes are so popular nowadays, and why some of them are just so expensive. So with that said, welcome to a look at the Kelly Toy Mario plush set. Let's start off with the first plush in this set, which is Mario. Now, there are two designs of the Mario plush, one having these black eyes and the other having like the normal blue eyes. Also, since these were carnival prizes, they came in tons of sizes as you can see in this Kelly toy catalog. And a fun fact about these plushes is that they were actually produced in the early 2000s, but they were still in arcades up to like the mid 2010s. That's just how popular these plushes were that arcades bought so many of them that they were still available in the early 2010s. And on YouTube, you can even find some videos of people winning them at carnivals because yeah, that's how popular these plushes were that they were available for like over 15 years. But yeah, now for the Mario plush is overall pretty good based on like the context of what it's based off of. Now a lot of people say that these plushes don't look good, but they don't really see what they're based off of because well, this Mario is based off of the Nintendo 64 design. So even though these plushes were released in like the GameCube era, they are still based off of the Nintendo 64 design, so keep that in mind when looking at these plushes. And in that context, they overall look a bit better because well, the proportions start to make more sense, but still some designs don't really make that much sense. One thing that you'll notice about these Mario plushes is that their faces are all different shapes and that's because well this company has some pretty bad quality control since these were just mass produced carnival prizes. So yeah these obviously weren't meant to have the best quality control because well they were just mass produced. But yeah the Mario plushes eyes and eyebrows are an iron on material so they could get damaged and overall some could look good and some could look bad on the face. Because well some of them could have a very nice and defined mustache while others could just have no definition on the mustache at all. Also, for some reason, his hair is orange, which isn't accurate in any context, so I don't know why they made the hair orange like that. And the overalls are made out of this, like, blue material, and they could actually come off, but I would definitely not recommend doing that because it will destroy the plush. And the straps of the overalls are just stitched on so they could fall off. Also, the buttons are an iron-on material so they could get easily cracked. And the rest of the plush is overall pretty good, and it has cardboard in the feet on the bigger sizes to make it stand up better. But yeah, overall, mattering on what design of the plush you get, you can either get a good plush or a bad plush. Because, well, the quality control in these plushes is just kind of random. Now, if you want this plush, look on eBay or Macari, and you could find these plushes for different prices, because, well, mattering if it's the first design or the second design, usually the first design is more expensive with the black eyes, because, well, it just came out earlier and it was produced a lot less than the second design. But yeah, the smaller sizes of Mario could probably sell for around $30, while the bigger sizes could sell upwards of $100. And one interesting thing about this Mario plush is that for a while, people thought there was a Fire Mario plush in this set. You see, a few years ago, this image started circulating around, and people thought it was a Kelly Toy Fire Mario, because, well, it looks a lot like a Kelly Toy plush. And, well, for years, we only had one image of it, until it popped up on eBay, and with a few videos on YouTube of people winning it in arcades popped up, and this proved that, well, it wasn't actually a Kelly Toy plush, it was just a bootleg. But yeah, overall, it's still a pretty cool plush that does have, like, an impact on this set, because, well, for a while, people thought it was Kelly Toy, but it actually wasn't. It was just a bootleg company that based this Fire Mario plush off of the Kelly Toy design. But yes, yeah, overall, still a pretty interesting piece of history on this set. But now let's move on to the next plush in this set, which is by far the most well-known being Luigi. Now, just like Mario, he came in tons of sizes, and they all vary in quality control, because, well, some could look really good, and some could look really bad like this one. But yeah, overall, Luigi has basically all the same problems with, like, the eyes and the eyebrows being made out of an iron-on material, and same thing with the buttons, so they could all get cracked easily. And also, the emblems on his hat could also get damaged. And also, since Luigi has, like, a long neck, they could also get, like, really understuffed, and his neck could just end up being very floppy and make the head just, like, fall all the way back. So that's another bad thing about this plush, because it could get unstuffed over the years. Also, just like the Mario, the overalls could just kind of like fall off if they get like in really bad condition. And for some reason on this Luigi plush, it seems like a lot of times they made the overalls just way too small. Because as you look at some of these Luigi plushes, you could tell that like on the bottom of their legs, the overalls just don't fully go over them, which is overall a really weird detail that I noticed. And it seems to be another thing with just quality control being bad on these plushes. And on the bigger sizes, they have cardboard in the feet to make them stand up better. Overall, this plush does have a lot of problems just like Mario, but this one's actually super expensive and really wanted by a lot of people. 
And usually on eBay, this plush will sell for upwards of $100. So yeah, it costs a lot of money. And the reason for that is because, well, a YouTuber used it a while ago in a plush series. So now a lot of people want it. So since it was used in that one series, it made the plushes really expensive now. And I was one to a cheaper plush in the set being Wario. Now this has to be one of the stranger plushes of the set, especially on the face because, well, some of them could actually look pretty creepy looking, mattering on what quality control you get on these plushes. Because for some reason on these plushes, the smile could be really big and have like really big teeth, or it could be really small as well, like on some versions of this plush. And well, because the quality control was so bad on these plushes, like the face is different every single Wario plush you see. The eyes and the emblem on the hat are made out of an iron-on material, and same thing with the gloves, they're made out of an iron-on material and could get easily damaged. And the mustache could fall off because it's only made out of fell and it's glued on, so it could also get damaged because, well, fell could collect debris and dust. Also, for some reason, above his nose, he has, like, this, like, lump above his nose for some reason, which is just a really weird detail that they added for some reason, which basically makes no sense. And unlike Mario and Luigi, these overalls can actually not fall off because, well, they're actually stitched on instead of just, like, being on the plush. But yeah, overall, on the face, this plush just kind of gets ruined because, well, the quality control is really bad, so some could look good and others could look really bad. So if you do want this plush, make sure to buy one that actually looks good because, well, it just matters on what version you get, and you'll see a ton of different versions on eBay. Also, this plush is pretty cheap, and it usually only costs around $30, and the other sizes cost, like, more expensive because they're bigger. But now let's go on to the final plush in this day, which is Donkey Kong. Now one thing that's good about this plush is that the material it's made out of is actually really nice and is really soft. As you can tell from some pictures, you can tell that this material is very soft. I don't know what material they use, but it's kind of like a furish material. But besides that nice material, the rest of the plush is okay because, well, there are some designs that really make no sense, like, well, Donkey Kong is for some reason standing up. I don't really know why they did this because not many other Donkey Kong plushes do this and usually they're just in his normal position, so I don't know why they made it like this. Also, the things like the detail on the tie and the eyes are made out of an iron-on material so those could get cracked. But yeah, the rest of the details just kind of depend on quality control because, well, some could look really good and others could look really bad, mattering on the quality control. And it seems this gets kind of like a gamble of how these plushes will look. You could either get a really nice looking plush or a really bad looking plush. And there's also cardboard in the feet of Donkey Kong so he stands up better. But yeah, overall, I probably wouldn't recommend getting this Donkey Kong plush because well, it's in a weird position. And overall, there's a lot better Donkey Kong plushes like the All-Star one. But this plush overall is still pretty cheap and you can find it on eBay and Macari for only like $20 to $30 in the smaller sizes. And that's it for the main plushes, but there's also some prototypes in the set that showed up on the website Taobao a few years ago. These five prototypes all showed up in a lot of plushes, and well, they overall look pretty weird and different to what the actual plushes look like. Now, Mario and Luigi look a lot different because, well, these are actually a lot more detailed. Also, all these plushes are smaller than their official releases were, so yeah, they were never actually made in this size, which is overall really interesting that they made smaller sizes of them, but never released them. And well, even though there's only a picture of one Donkey Kong prototype, there's actually two of them, which is actually pretty interesting that one wasn't actually shown in the listing. Because, well, the person bought two of them and they got two different versions of them, so I wonder if there's different versions of the others in the set that we just don't know about. But by far the most interesting plush is, well, Yoshi has two different designs of it. Yoshi was never actually released into the set, and overall, he looks pretty weird. Especially on this design of the Yoshi plush, because overall, it looks pretty low quality, but I can't really tell because, well, the image isn't really that good, and we only really have one image of it, and we don't know where this plush is today. But overall, it's pretty interesting that these prototypes ever showed up because, well, these prototypes showed up like 15 years after these plushes were actually released. So these prototypes are really old and I'm surprised they still even existed at the time. Because, well, usually prototypes get destroyed, but apparently these somehow managed to survive. But yeah, which plushes is your favorite? Mine's probably Luigi, but comment down below yours and yeah, have a great day.